All right, so the next game on the list is Last Will. It is mostly just a... Uh, I'm not good at these games. Just Why did you get player one, by the way? You're player one. On my oh. screen, you're player one. Uh, so do you want to do this as a challenge mode, or do you want to go casual? That's literally no problem. 60 minutes, we could do it in 60 minutes. What else right. going to take 60 minutes to do? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Well, we'll solve. We'll, we're doing episode one. Do you want to try to do the prologue? I will do episode one. But we, well, actually, we'll do prologue. Just oh, you can just read my father's the prologue. Family. Never liked the man. Never really cared. And my grando, the will made that perfectly clear, full of loopholes and special rules. But I must admit, I was surprised to hear my name in there. And even more so when I heard what he had left behind for me. The Grand Gladsbury Estate, one of the oldest houses in New England, was said to be mine on one special condition. The attorney didn't have the deed to the place in his possession, and I could see that even though he struggled to stay professional, the conditions of the will baffled him as well. It said, if you are able to enter the heart of my house, it is yours, with all the riches it holds, but you must think and act like a true Gladsbury, not like your dim-witted cousins and nieces. Get to the heart or leave penniless. The will caused quite an uproar. The rest of my family, hungry as vultures, tried to explain that my grandfather was clearly not in his right mind when the will was written, but the attorney kept insisting... Oh, uh, oh there we go. I'm, here. I'm in the building. There's a no in front of me. Dear Mr. Gladsbury, condolences on the loss of your grandfather. As realtor of the estate and the notary of Sir Edmund Gladsbury's will, it is my duty to welcome you to the Gladsbury estate. I apologize for not receiving you in person. It was the wish of your grandfather that you would be inspecting the house an hour before my arrival. I can only assume that the house might hold some valuables he wished to keep out of the will. This is not as uncommon as it sounds, as I always... As always, I shall respect the will as it is written. Regards, Simon Renwell, legal attorney. You're invisible. Yeah, you're, you're also <laughs> invisible, I guess. You're, you're not even moving, you're just floating forward. Whoa. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I have to move the mouse to open things. Gloomy millionaire. Oh, I found something. Dies. What's that whispering? I found something. One, two, three. The letter K is used twice, the letter S is used twice, and the letter O is used twice. An old cast iron lantern. Why the fuck did I put this? You're creepy, bro. Another note? Twice, twice, twice. Of no use to no one, get absolute bliss to two. The small boy gets it for nothing. The young man would lie for it. The old man might die for it. Mm. Love. Mm. Mm. Word. Another note. Welcome, child. Welcome to my mansion. Now, no doubt you are here looking for your inheritance, but I have other plans for now. Having observed the rotten roots of my family tree, as I grew closer to old age, I realized that none of you deserve a single penny from me. And I don't believe death is enough reason for me to suddenly change my attitude. That is why I remade this place a t as a test. I have filled the halls with riddles and puzzles, and it is up to you to solve them, to prove to me that you deserve my wealth. If you do not solve them in a timely manner, Charges across the cellars will ignite, and this whole place burns to the ground. So go okay. ahead. Let me see you being worthy of my name, or at least help me trim the family tree of some rotten branches, the professor. Uh, I solved one of the puzzles. What did you do? Uh, well, the puzzle reads as such. I... The answer was name. 
Wait, did he do the door one? No. What? The door one. The one on the right of the staircase. Where are you floating to? I'm still in the beginning. This is an open clues and riddles will be gathered here for easy storage. Oh, I don't see any. Portrait of my grandfather doesn't look like a person I would miss that much. Each stroke of the bell, eight minutes in hell. Each stroke of the hand, eight minutes demand. Okay. Alright, second floor locked. this area hmm. nice three four four three two four three statues three riddles three words i set them together to make sure that everything you see and touch is connected you must understand, I wish for you to succeed. Even the dead can be disappointed. Everything you need is in this room. Everything you won't need will be in every other room. Oh, it was kiss. The answer was kiss. You're just rolling them around until you get something. No. I would look through the letters to see which ones are available. And I'm like, This one on the right has a, the word door on it. I thought you already did it. Puzzles, huh, dude? It was book, time, and name. What door opened? This one up here. Got some. Wait, did the door close on me? Oh, I think it's already gonna start the second chapter if I go through there. I already went through. I'm stuck. Yeah, the door closed. Oh, oh, active library. I mean, I guess the first act was done. I told you. Hey, everybody. Chess here again, adding after the facts. I'm going to be explaining what happened in this room. Basically, it was extremely boring. So instead, uh, enjoy this video of a seal spinning around in circles. For this next room, we kind of messed up. We just didn't find one of the clues. So for this section, I'm just going to be highlighting every single time we miss the clues. And I'm going to skip most of it. Anyways, enjoy. That's how I played it over again, just to see if I could hear anything. I have An admiral is a sea captain, no? It. This took us six attempts. We found it on our sixth attempt. But we got it, and that's all that really matters. 
You thought we were done with the oh. ADRs? Oh, yeah. No, no not yet. Basically, this room, <laughs> we just kind of guessed and got the right answer, so oh, we're going to be skipping Christ through all of it. Please. All right. Thank you for understanding. Later. We don't even know where we're moving it, which we should. Um, that black one you just moved and the white one at the far corner. What are we trying to do here? Out of time. We're dead. Okay. So, I think we got a pretty good feel for the game there. Alright, last will, Oscar. How are you feeling about it? It's all only our own stupidity that we could not finish the fucking time. Okay. It had... I think the... The puzzles... Because it's such a short-looking game... Uh, have the good diversity because you know uh each room that we went in was a different type of puzzle the first one was pretty much all riddles that you just have to guess the word that it was trying to trying to tell you um the second one was the the book name that we had to we had to figure out that the, the books were able to spell out a name and then the third one that we did was the the the, the 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 logic puzzle, which that was just our own fault that we didn't find the the note. Mm -hmm. And I think we might have been able to do that. And then the the pipe puzzle, that one probably was the worst one because uh, it didn't have a clear indication of how you should be moving it. So I didn't know what was open, what was closed. And then at the end, I just started moving a bunch of stuff. And then when I did move the, the, the handles, the other one started turning. So uh, I didn't, once again, I didn't know what was happening. Um, I don't know if anything was happening along the hallways, but mm -hmm. uh, either way, the, that, that one was probably the worst one. And then, well, actually this one upcoming as well, the last one we just did, uh, uh, we, we didn't have a lot of time to thoroughly search, but we weren't getting anything exact of how we were supposed to do it other than we think that the two red ones were misplaced, so you have to reposition them. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. but yeah, otherwise, it's uh, it had has potential if it could give a little bit of a better indication, at least of like a at least a starting. You know, hey, maybe you should try this. Okay. Do you think the game is worth eight dollars? Uh, Nine dollars, my bad. For this short of a game, I don't know. I don't think so. Cause the last last one has constantly like you know um, updates for for more stuff, but this one's pretty much done. I don't mm -hmm. think it's worth the whole Nine dollars. Okay, let's see. What exactly? Oh, actually, actually, I'm gonna retract that statement because I forgot when I read the Steam thing, it said that the the puzzles are randomly generated for each room, and there are 20 different puzzle types. Okay. Because, and there is replayability, so that it might be worth nine dollars. Um, but. That's it. I mean, if you like puzzles. Otherwise, if you're just a casual person, it's probably like a $5 game. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend it? If you like puzzles. <laughs> if you don't like puzzles, you're not going to get too much of a story out of this. And that's pretty much all you're doing. Just, just puzzles. That's all you do. Well, at the end of the day, what can I say about the game? I actually had a lot of Fun. The sections that were boring weren't boring because uh, the game itself was boring. They had more to do with the fact that we were just 
thinking about what we had to do for the most part. So there wasn't a lot of like entertainment value in leaving that in. Um, I I strongly recommend the game. I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed it because of the puzzle aspect that it has. Escape rooms are just a thing that I do like and I'm very interested in. So I guess for the price that they're charging, the game is very, very worth it. Anyways, I hope you all liked the video. Um, please like and subscribe. Comment anything that you like, anything I could work on. This is just kind of like a side hobby I like doing on my off time. So just let me know what you think, and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.